Hi there, my name is Ying Chen. I'm from Lada Semiconductor. Uh, today I'm going to uh, demonstrate our wearable development platform. As you can see uh, in my hands here, uh, this is a, a portable development platform uh, specifically developed for wearable applications. Uh, this is based on FPGA uh, from Lattice. Uh, Lattice FPGA uh, is of very low power, small form factor, and low cost. Uh, this platform uh, will enable you to integrate the function of your choice um, with a lot of uh, peripherals and sensors that's readily available from this uh, platform. You can find sensors and peripherals such as uh, onboard on uh, battery, uh, a solarometer, uh, gyro, uh, photometer, temperature sensor, heartbeat sensors, and so forth. Um, with, with the FPGA that's on board, you can easily integrate uh, many functions uh, and uh, differentiate your product. And one core strength of the FPGA is video bridging. Uh, in this particular uh, development kit, uh, we are taking uh, parallel data from SPI Flash and converting it uh, to, MIP, to uh, MIP D5 to drive the LCD display. In addition to the uh, MIP D5 bridging, we also have another uh, demonstration here showing a custom bridging from uh, SPI to uh, JDI wearable uh, interface. Um, the JDI wearable uh, display uh, is a new display uh, that's, uh, that's totally reflective and, and has a long battery life. However, it requires 15 IOs uh, to drive the display. And most MCUs do not have 15 IOs, or does it, nor does it have uh, the timing required uh, to drive the waveform. Uh, Lattice, uh, we came out with a reference design uh, to bridge uh, SPI, which is commonly found in most MCUs, to the uh, JDI wearable interface, uh, enable, the, enable our customers uh, faster time to market and ease of use and uh, more flexible choices of the uh, displays out there. Thank you very much.